Okay, welcome back. It's been a little while. Uh, you hear noises in the background. My dog's uh, tap dancing while she's eating. So anyway, it's been a while for a uh, video game collection. I've been to a bunch of different places over the last week, week and a half. Uh, I have really had no time to upload anything until now. So without further ado, let me just show you what I've been able to pick up. Uh, this is a J Street Games, which I've told you about in my earlier videos. It's called 3D Baseball for the PS1. 3D Baseball. I'll show you screens on the back. Uh, by Championship Sports Crystal Dynamics. Sort of like the Crystal Dynamics created a game. Man, I forget. I saw a video on YouTube about it the other day. Uh, Crystal Dynamics Sports. Oh, it was uh, Slam and Jam uh, for the uh, 3DO. Slam and Jam 95 for the 3DO. Crystal Dynamics made. But anyway, 3D Baseball. Um, Crystal Dynamics presents the most realistic baseball video game ever published. Real motion control 3D technology serves up incredibly lifelike 3D polygonal models that bat, pitch, and hit like real players. You got 700 actual Major League Baseball players and stats, over 50 of the league's top players' batting stances, dig in and face heat from five controllable perspectives. General manager mode, you can trade players, modify player stats, and build the ultimate dream team. Van Earl Wright fires up the action with over a thousand supercharged color comments. So the announcer's name, Van Earl Wright, I've never heard of him. Maybe you guys have. If you have, throw it in the comments section. And the screenshots, uh, they have Kenny Lofton beats Kenny Lofton beats the Joe Girardi tag at home. Jose Canseco digs in to hammer an Andy Pettit fastball. John Smoltz delivers some serious heat to Bernie Williams. And Mark Lemke lays it out to turn the double play with Jeff Blauser. Mark Lemke. Uh, I believe this was in 96 is when it came out because the Braves and the Yankees played in the World Series that year, I'm pretty sure. So, anyway, you got 3D baseball for the PS1. Um, looks terrible. And I'm not going by today's, by today's standards. I'm going by it just looks terrible. So, anyway, 3D baseball. Uh, High Heat Baseball 2002, again, J Street Games. Uh, I love this. I love the franchise of High Heat for the PC, for the PS1, for the PS2. High Heat Baseball, one of the best franchises ever, in my opinion. Uh, you got Vladimir Guerrero back when he was really skinny on the Expos. High Heat Baseball 2002. See the screenshots. Um, official PlayStation Magazine says we might be looking at a Yankees type of dynasty with High Heat 2002. And all Star features high impact TV like game presentation and rock and audio. Stunningly accurate stadiums result from thousands of scouting photos. Incredibly lifelike star players with signature moves and facial details. Intelligent crowd excitement, or ICE. Animated crowds get louder during exciting moments and even leave the park if a game is a blow. That was pretty cool. I remember that back from the previews when Game Informer uh, covered this. Plus, fan favorites like the most accurate rosters with real MLB teams and L MLBPA players, umpire arguments, player ejections, drop third strikes, and catcher snap throws, intelligent mound visiting managers, and animated base coaches. I remember that feature. Uh, it was really cool. The, the, the uh, manager would actually visit the mound to give one of the first games to ever do that, to actually give your guy in the bullpen um, more time to warm up. And then you got a two-man booth with play-by-play -play and color commentary. And then some of the screenshots you got featuring all of your favorite MLB stars, the most lifelike pitching, batting, base running, fielding, and managing. And it still comes with the MLB sticker on the back. If you can see that seal of approval there. Boom. But High Heat Baseball 2002 3DO, great baseball game. Absolutely great baseball game. Then the next two games I want to go over, I actually went to a um, – I don't know if you guys remember the video I did about the game store in Vermont, Bennington, Vermont, uh, the games Gamers Grotto. But I actually went to a thrift store in Vermont, in Bennington, Vermont, either Bennington or Powell, I forget which city. Uh, and they said, I remember and on the way back from the Gamers Grotto, they said, oh, we got a ton of games, but they were closed. They closed at like 7 o'clock. So I was pissed. I had to go back the next day. And they didn't have a ton of games. I mean, I was pissed. You know, the woman's like, oh, we got a ton of games here. Yeah, you're just going to have to come back tomorrow. We got a million of them. What they had was they had them mixed and matched within CDs. So they had like seven PC games and like four PlayStation 1 games. Two, however, happened to be ones I was missing. So the first one, real simple, Madden 01 for the PS1. Show you the graphics on the back. Real easy stuff. 
Okay. Uh, go deep with Madden NFL 2001. It, the features incredible player detail. Player-specific accessories include turf, tape, wristbands, visors, and more. Legendary players. Unlock 50 of the game's greatest in every all-Madden team. Exclusive NFL Coaches Club. Authentic strategy and signature playbooks from real NFL coaches. New two-minute drill. Up to 10 players battle the clock at each other in this exciting new mode. And Madden cards. Compete and collect in-game cards for hidden player stadiums and power-ups. And some of the screenshots say more NFL moves, read and react defense, all Madden gameplay, and boost player ratings with power-ups. So Madden 01. Um, I want to say this is Eddie George on the cover, but I could be wrong, and I don't want to look like an idiot, but I, it looks like it's Eddie George for the Tennessee Titans. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, correct me in the, uh, in the comment section, but I apologize. And then Triple Play 2000 uh, with Sammy Sosa on the Cubs. And this was, I remember when this came out, I was working at Funko Land at the time. For those of you guys who remember what Funko Land was. And I remember, I could, couldn't wait for the new baseball game to come out. And I remember seeing this cover. And it's all like polygonal yellow. With Sammy Sosa as a polygonal player. And I, this was like the weirdest cover I've ever seen. Not because of Sammy Sosa, but because of the yellow. It's ugly as hell for a cover. I mean, it ugly. Ugly, ugly, ugly. But anyway, here are the... Uh, screenshots on the back, Triple Play 2000. So this is Power Baseball. More control, more action, more power. And if I remember correctly, this is when the game started getting arcadey. But you get a head-to-head -head home run challenge, multi-season play in full fantasy draft, new camera angles, see the action, make the plays, and create trade sign and release players. And those are the game features. And then you got screenshots that say monster home runs, real emotion, and aggressive gameplay. So again, Triple Play 2000, I got... That Madden 01 at a thrift store for like two bucks each. So that adds to the collection that I need. This is pretty cool. This next one I got, uh, well, before I get to that, hold on a minute. Let me just, I went to J Street again, double check, because I cleaned them out. They were the one closest to me. There was one that I remembered I did have when I was a kid. Uh, Frank Thomas Big Hurt Baseball for the Genesis. Okay, complete in box, as you can see. Pretty good condition. Stats on the back. Pretty good baseball game. Claim made decent baseball games. Um, Acclaim's next generation technology means the most realistic hardball action ever. And I'll just give you the screenshots again on the back here. But you got 700 plus MLBPA superstars. You got Maddox, Nomo, Justice Vaughn, Barriga, Puckett, Alomar, Bonds, and more. Exclusive simulated stats from Bill James, Stats Incorporated. Real baseball action. Adjust lineups and fielders, run down stolen bases, squeeze plays, double play pivots, high spikes, and bad hops. Pitchers tire and have hot or cold streaks. Three games in one, including clutch time simulator and the Big Hurt Home Run Derby. You got quick play mode, one strike and you're out. Customized stadiums, battery backup for 23 stat categories. So real, it hurts. Frank Thomas, Big Hurt Baseball. And the graphics say dive to take away an extra base hit. Track and save stats in 23 categories, individual team and conference leaders. Realistic motion capture, pitching and fielding, turn two at second. Ultimate graphics put you right in the batter's box. Those clouds could mean a rain delay. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe there were rain delays. If not the Genesis or Game Boy versions, there was in the Saturn version. And I, I don't rem I want to say there was. It was one of the first games to em uh, emulate uh, rain delays and stuff. But anyway, Frank Thomas Bickard Baseball. And again, I could be wrong. I'm probably mixing 73 different baseball games together. The next game... I got sealed, and I figured it'd be a, a pretty penny, and I don't remember the box looking like this. I could have sworn it was a different box, but this is sealed. Pack factory sealed. Uh, I got online, and it's Virtual Fighter 2 for the Genesis. And all of you guys remember the Virtual Fighter games for uh, Saturn and the arcade, but they actually came out with the second one, only the second one for the Sega Genesis. And you can see on the back, and this is... Sealed copy. I don't know if you can see the ripple of the plastic, but it's sealed. And uh, I remember when this came out. I remember back at Funko Land, this was like $45 used. Brand new, I got stole it. This was back then when it first came out, too. But the number one fighting game comes straight from the arcade to Sega Genesis. Play as any of the eight original Virtua Fighter arcade characters. Vibrant colors and beautiful backgrounds show off the graphic capabilities of Genesis 16-bit processing power. Ready, fight, it says. You got eight playable Virtua Fighter characters. Akira, Pi, Jackie, Sarah, Cage, Wolf, Lau, or Jeffrey. Hundreds of cool arcade fighting moves and choose between six different fighting uniforms per character. 
So anyway, Virtua Fighter 2 sealed in the in the box for the Sega Genesis, one of the games I was missing for my Genesis collection. And that is it, folks. Uh, I have two more videos coming at you. I got one for some stuff I got online, and then another video will be upcoming for a game store that I just found out about in Springfield, Mass., uh, called uh, Game Hunters. And uh, I got a ton of stuff there. They got a cool store. Check them out. But uh, thanks for watching, and a couple more videos will be coming also. Uh, I got a camcorder, and this is my first foray into YouTube. I know the lighting isn't as great as it could be, uh, but I'm going to try it with this camcorder to see if I can do better videos and uh, and more. And I got this video editing software. So, I mean, you know, I'm brand new to this thing. I'm just throwing my videos up there to show everybody the collection, my collection that I'm trying to recreate as a kid. Um, and I'm almost done with it, so... Uh, I'm halfway done, I should say. Game Boy, I'm almost complete. There's two games, three games left. One I'm on an eBay battle for, uh, fight over. The guy sent me the wrong game, and I'm trying to fight him over the fact that he did that. Uh, the other two, one's rare as can be. If any of you guys have a sealed, co uh, not sealed copy, just a complete inbox copy of Sumo Fighter, I will pay handsomely for that, and I mean handsomely. Um, you know, that's Sumo Fighter, and then if any of you guys have uh, Adventures of Star Saver, complete in box for the Game Boy, is the only two I'm missing, uh, besides the one I'm in an eBay battle for. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I got more videos coming at you.